All right, guys, um, I got two questions from one of you guys on your um, on your lesson one, I think. Am I, yeah, I think it is lesson one homework. Um, maybe it is lesson two since it's uh, Tuesday today, but from lesson one homework, I think. And um, I want to kind of help you guys out with how to do this. So the question basically said, if they give you h of x equal to x minus 2 divided by x plus 11, um, they want you to find h of negative 7. Now what they mean by finding h of negative 7 is they're telling you plug in a negative 7 into the formula. So in other words, h of negative 7 will be negative 7, then I'll put, uh, actually here, let me do it this way. I'll change the colors here. Negative 7 minus 2 divided by negative 7 plus 11. So notice the thing in blue is the part where it just replaces the x value. So um, now that you work, negative 7 minus 2 is a negative 9. Negative 7 plus 11, that's a positive 2. Uh, nope, that's not a positive 2, I'm sorry. Uh, that's a positive 4. Okay, so there's your answer, negative 9, right? Negative 7 minus 2 is negative 9, and 11 minus 7 would be 4. Okay, so negative 9 over 4. So that would be the answer uh, to that question. Okay, so negative 9 fourths. And I know that they probably give you a, a little option there so that you can create a fraction and then type out your answer. So make sure you guys type this out as a fraction. So that was one question. And then the other question that was asked of me was uh, started like this. They give you g of x and they say uh, we have that equal to x plus a over x squared minus 16 and they said uh, what numbers are not in the domain now what that basically means is what numbers can you not use well the only numbers that i cannot use in a fraction are the numbers that make the denominator zero so um whatever makes the denominator zero is a bad thing so x squared minus 16 equals zero would be bad so let's find out what makes it zero well i'll add 16 to both sides so that gives me x squared equals to 16. now i'm going to take the square root of both sides here okay so the square root here the square root here so um, the square root of x squared is just x. The square root of 16 is plus or minus 4. That means you have two answers, okay? Your two answers are negative 4 and positive 4. And if I remember correctly, in that question, it asks um, that if it has multiple answers, write your answers using a comma. So there you go. Just write, uh, maybe, maybe it'll look like this, negative 4, comma, 4, or maybe... They have it set up so it looks like this. But hopefully that helps you guys out. And if you have any other questions, please uh, send me a picture of the question so that I can tell what it is that you're talking about. Uh, I do want to remind you guys that all the questions that you're doing are not necessarily the same questions that other students are getting. They're pulling these questions from a bank of questions. So there could be a thousand questions and you're getting 10 of them and then your friends getting 10 others and your friends getting nine different ones but maybe one that's like yours um, so all the questions can be different but they're, they're all going to be kind of similar so that means that these two questions that I did even though these are not your questions that maybe you asked me um, they may be similar to a question you're doing okay so hopefully this helps and uh, keep sending them my way guys